coolest luxury hotels, Ritz Carlton, South Beach. My room isn't ready yet. I came right to the pool. Definitely gonna get my customary pina colada. I like this. It's uh, it is a large hotel, 500 rooms. The pool is on the second level. I actually think I have one of these rooms. I think um, that overlook the pool. And then there you have some beautiful rooms up top here that overlook the pool and the ocean. Ocean down here. The water is pristine today. Uh, this is going to become an expensive habit. If I keep on chasing these turquoise and tua waters, uh, I don't know, I have to get more subscribers or eventually go back to work. But uh, look how beautiful this is. Beach access down here and a lot of seating. I would imagine this place gets pretty crowded during peak season. As of right now, there is a ubiquity of seating. Uh, you have cabanas and then you have elevated chairs over there. I'm not sure if those chairs are connected to the poolside rooms or not, but they're elevated up on the grass. And then you have the restaurant right there that is the only restaurant on site. I think it's open to like 9 or 10 p.m. You come to the pool at any time, though you can't get in the water after dark. At Bell Harbor, you go in the water at any time. This pool area is 24 seven, but pool only during sunlight. So I'm gonna get my customary pina colada and wait for this room to get ready. I am not dressed uh, for this weather at all. So I need to find some shade. All right, inside the room at the Miami South Beach Ritz Carlton. I knew this room was gonna be smaller than the one up at Bell Harbor because hotels in South Beach are notoriously small because they're older, the properties are older. This is definitely smaller, but I'm not hating it, mainly because of this excellent balcony. Perfect sun angle too. I'll get to that in a second. Let's start with the bathroom. Let's start with the bathroom right when you walk in, the right here. White marble, white bathroom, a lot of nice white ambient light in here. I feel all Miami bathrooms should at least be white. The dual vanity, separate shower, separate toilet. These open towards the walls, which are really interesting. It's in fact, I find it kind of awkward. As spray products in there, just a single shower head here. Marble, marble everywhere. And see how this opens towards the vanity and towards the wall. I just find it to be really awkward. Nonetheless, separate area to do your work. Makeup mirror there, nicely lit. Large glass mirror, black countertop. Aspray products. There were aspray products in there as well. Pretty intimate in here, pretty cozy. You could probably have two people in here getting ready, but it would be pretty claustrophobic. There we have more aspray products, a scrubbing mitt, a soap, and a towel, and another towel right there. That is it. Here is the robe with the slippers. I saw this at the other Miami property. I like that when they put the slippers inside the robe. Very convenient. Okay, moving on. Here at the entryway, there's just a little nice table area to put your stuff. I like that. Put your wallet and your keys and your phone right here so you don't forget them. I really like that. It's small, subtle, but very sophisticated. I like it. Getting into this room, it's small, it's simple, it's elegant, it's sophisticated. They've maximized the space. There actually is, now that I look at it, a lot of seating in this room. Let's say two on the bed, two over there, and one there, and then one here if you want to all sit. If y'all want to come to South Beach and put some people in a hotel room, you could definitely do that, although it would get a little cramped. I want to check out this bed right away. 
whoa really soft like a two or a three like cloud like feather like this could be really interesting quite the contrast from the one at bell harbor and i'll say it right now if you are a bed person and you want a firm bed bell harbor unequivocally if you want a soft bed this is it this is nice i don't like soft mattresses a lot but this could be the one that changes it for me wow this is pretty fantastic the phone is integrated into the alarm clock i have never seen that before that is nice i feel like they all should be doing that that is great innovation right there uh soft closed doors look at this you know i love my soft close soft close soft close nice yeah i know mini bar pretty standard uh, these are really elegant and really extravagant now they have these hollowed out on the bottom so it seems like you're getting more than what you really are in fact there's not a lot in here these probably cost a fortune what i see that i typically don't see right here just this miami rum that is really cool and then you have your tito's your tequilas and, and some wine dual boss and you also have a fully stock mini bar one thing i'm noticing here is that there really isn't a desk i, I guess no one is doing any work at this miami ritz carlton south beach hotel because there is no desk um, you do have some usb ports right here and one outlet so i guess if you want to work in bed you could pull this over and do that and then this is really interesting over here like what is this is this just pure voyeurism i don't really understand it because you have this wall divider right here which is foldable flexible and you have a little end table, right? So this is kind of, what are we doing here? Are we just watching? I don't know. I have never seen this before. Let's get outside. Well, this balcony is really nice. The sun angle is perfect. It's about 4 p.m. right here. And you're probably gonna have sun all day. So this is room number 480 something. And I would absolutely recommend staying on this side because if you're on that side over there, I'm not sure those room numbers, but you are not going to get any sun on the balcony. This one is full sun. Nice view of the pool. Again, the pool is open only during sunlight hours, but the grounds are open 24 seven. If you wanna bring a drink out there or maybe read a book at night, you're able to do that. There is a partial view of the ocean. Uh, just kind of like a peekaboo view but if you want to come out here and catch a glimpse you definitely could do that and you get a nice overview a nice purview of the grounds here at the ritz carlton south beach so that is it for an initial room rundown Ooh, that i need to remember not to do that so i need to get my bags up here i'm probably going to order some room service definitely definitely dig into this and see where the day takes me. All right, that is it for my balcony time. The sun is gone, which means I am gone. The sun takes a lot out of you, which means I am malnourished, which means I need to renourish. So I ordered room service. Be careful on that door. Uh, I ordered room service and I got the burrata. And typically it just comes with the serving of burrata, but I ordered a side of steak and a side of chicken, double honey mustard. I am going to engulf this and then I'm gonna uh, have the bed engulf me. I'm getting into my evening, which has up until this point consisted of three things. Well, four things. Besides my caffeine relapse, it's been three things. Before I tell you about them, let me show you what outside looks like. It's dark out here, so it's tough to see. The pool is lit up, and then you can see the uh, ambient red post around there. And then the restaurant is open until 10 p.m. So like I said before, you can come out here and chill, marinate. Just can't go in the pool, but the weather is nice. It's a perfect temperature. It's a really peaceful, cool place to be. Music playing in the background. I'll definitely head down there at some point. So the three things. Number one is the bed. Number two was room service. And then number three was the bathtub. I took a bath in here. This bath is not as nice as the one at Bell Harbor. The one at Bell Harbor was at zero gravity tub it was curved it was tall you had a window next to it this was a really nice place to be i like the acoustics in here the tub was decent i call it adequate moving on to my second favorite thing and that was this meal the burrata was a really hefty portion the steak and the chicken additions were another i think 30 dollars but well worth it okay this bed wow 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 it's like a water bed in fact i checked to see if this was a water bed because it feels like a water bed. This is the softest hotel bed I have ever been in by far. I thought I knew what soft was until I was in this thing. It is just so soft. I mean, I get in here and then I sink and there's almost like some undulation waves. I swear it's a water bed, but, but it's not. And then this is really cool where it has this um, shoulder right here. So you, if you want to sit here and do some work, and lean up against it you have this shoulder right here which adds great support you put your shoulder in the shoulder 
and you have the room at your disposal. In fact, I think this is where I'm going to work because there is no desk, as I mentioned before. So that's it. I'm gonna get to some video editing. I'm gonna call it for a night and I'll see you in the morning. All right, here's the room. Here's how I woke up this morning. I don't have a desk again, so I just kind of got my camera stuff on this round table. Uh, I got to some snacks last night. Got to do these chocolate covered gooey things. I thought they were raisins and they're not. I thought they were almonds and they're not. They're like milk duds, but softer. And then here is a, I think what's called a cowboy mix. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like a Southwestern mix. And this bed, well, last night I talked about three things. I talked about the tub, which was uh, average. And then I talked about the burrata, which was above average. And then I talked about the bed, which was exceptional. This bed is like a water bed, and I figured out what it is. There, the bed is a pillow top mattress, and then there is a pillow topper on top of it. So it is ultra, ultra soft. Today, I want to do three things. It's my last full day in Cancun. I want to go to the beach. Uh, at least I want to walk the beach and see what that is like. The weather is going to be intermittent at best, so I don't know if I'm going to spend much time at the beach. Plus, I just got back from Cancun. I'm a little beached out. And for me, lately, Miami's been more about the pool scene than the beach scene. In fact, Miami's always been that way for me. So I'm more of a pool guy within Miami, but I do want to walk the beach and at least see what that access is like. Um, I want to go to the gym. I want to see what that is like. And then also, I want to go down to that restaurant down there and probably get some breakfast or lunch. I'm not sure which one, but I definitely want to go check that out. That is on my itinerary today, and I am going to get to it. All right, I'm right back where I started my review yesterday, right at the end of the pool. There is the beach, completely private, private access down there. There's a courtyard. There is my room right there, up on that fourth level. Look at the size of these rooms. Wow. Talk about grandiosity and largesse. I can't even imagine how much those go for or what those look like inside. Unbelievable. Look at the size of those balconies, the size of the windows. That is straight up balling right there. Um, one thing I want to talk about before we go down to the beach is the sun. So it starts right there and then it ends right there. So this hotel is perfectly situated for sun, specifically the pool. A lot of pools in Miami don't account for the angle of the sun and you only get the sun for like a short window, whether it's two to four, 10 to two, whatever it is. This property is gonna have sun all day. And like I said, if you wanna have a pool room and you wanna get sun on the balcony, get one on that side. Uh, that's where I am over there. You're not going to get any at all. Another bar area over here, temporarily closed. No access this way, let's walk around this way. Brick pathway, nice and wide. No shortage of sand on this beach, no shortage of seating. This is so much manufactured seating. I don't go to a lot of beaches in Miami. I'm more of a pool guy, as I've stated before. There is a ton of manufactured seating here. Wow, almost too much. It almost takes away from the purity and authentic nature of the beach. There is so much manufactured seating, but I can only assume uh, those are the Ritz-Carlton seats right there. I see a Ritz-Carlton guy on staff, so that is probably true. If you want to come down here and take in the ocean, you can definitely do that. I like the pool. I like the restaurant. I mean, it's up to eat. At the bar, Swago Imar. Here it is. This is the only bar and restaurant on site, and it is conveniently located right next to the pool. So everything is right here. You want to drink in the morning, you have it. You want to drink at night, you have it. You want to drink and go to the pool, it is right here. And I like this seating where I'm at. It's in the shade. You have a full overview of what's going on at the pool. You can be surgical anytime, jump in, or come back here when the heat gets to be too much, have a drink or a refreshment. So I ordered the eight ounce short rib burger. This has aged cheddar, crushed avocado, a house marmalade, tomatoes, onions, lettuce, 
and a beautiful buttery brioche bun. Let's get to it. Finishing up at Fuego Imar, a great place to eat breakfast. It's not too hot, not too sticky yet. You're in the shade, and again, beautiful access to the pool and a peekaboo view of the ocean. And if you don't want to be out in the elements or in case it's kind of windy, you can eat inside. I had two cervezas. I had La Rubia, and then I also had this Funky Buddha. The cool thing about this Funky Buddha is that they have custom messages on the inside. This says, pour them if you got them. I will definitely subscribe to that. Uh, the hands down winner was this funky Buddha. I'm not the biggest, well I am actually a pretty big blonde ale fan. I'm not the biggest ale fan, but I am a blonde ale fan and it had that like uh, metallic taste to it, which you get in beer sometimes. I'm not a fan of that taste. So that's it. Uh, saw the beach, had some breakfast, ate at Fuegli Mar. I think I'm gonna take a nap and then hit the gym. I got my checklist off early. Who knows what else I'm gonna get into. I checked off all my boxes. I went to the beach, saw what that was like. I checked out the restaurant. Uh, that burger is still resonating in my mind. That short rib burger was unbelievable. And then uh, I went to the gym. So, and then I came back. The room is perfectly clean. The Ritz Carlton service, as usual, is impeccable. They're on it. I said, hey, look, I'm going to the gym for an hour. Can you come up here and clean my room? On it, came back, perfect. I love coming back to a neat and tidy room. And now it's 4 p.m. I'm gonna have one of these cervezas, both are Biscayne Bay. There is a coffee one, coffee, chocolate, English porter. That's probably gonna be a little too stiff for sipping out in the sun. I'm gonna go with this one. This is the pale ale, classic pale ale, tropical notes, and a uniquely low bitterness. Delivers an amazingly smooth finish. I'm gonna have that out here, catch the last hour of sun. While I do that, enjoy this one minute gym tour. I'll see you tomorrow. I've noticed that a lot of Ritz-Carlton guests do not utilize the gym. At least at the Ritz-Carlton properties I've been to as of late, there have not been a lot of guests in the gym. And really, uh, I can't blame them because the properties are so beautiful. We have separated rooms in this Miami South Beach location. We have cardio over here. We have weight resistance over there. Over here, you have your traditional setup. You have four ellipticals, uh, five treadmills, and two bikes. As always, one vertical, one horizontal. Probably the least cosmetic gym in the Ritz Carlton I've ever seen. Ceiling's really low, kind of dungeony, kind of a kind of a basement type of feel, but still very functional. Over here at the weight resistance part, you have mirrors all around, which really helps you focus on your work. You have legs over here, extension, press. You have uh, seated row, chest, lat pull down, two benches, free weights, Smith machine, and then your cable cross, and you, and you have some yoga mats over there. You would not have to leave campus if you wanted to get a great workout in here at the Ritz Carlton. Now. Okay, here's what I had for breakfast. I had the uh, St. James Nordic Salmon. This was huge, like this is, um, I think like a quarter of it. There were like these huge fists of salmon. It was $22 and $22 at a Ritz Carlton does not get you much, in fact, um, it would give you like half a drink, you know? My, my, my drinks down at the bar were like $38. So I didn't know what was gonna happen when I ordered the $22 salmon. Imagine this times four, uh, a great value. And then I had some, uh, some frozen yogurt with, uh, with honey and berries and stuff like that. Great breakfast. Besides that, just walking around the room, I put a hoodie on the mini bar. Uh, this place is really centrally located. I'm gonna get to the location in a second. That's probably the standout of this room. I mean, having the room overlook the pool was decent. That was probably the really highlight of the room. But the overall um, benefit of the property is just being centrally located. But I have to say right now, this property is just a pass. Just a pass. A Ritz Carlton is just a pass. It passes barely. Um, the rooms are small and the staff is decent, but not that over the top exceptional Ritz Carlton staff that you have known to grow, love, and expect. Um, 
the pool scene is just okay, the beach was just okay. I mean, the beach was so wide and so expansive, you might as well just put sand in a parking lot. Like, it wasn't very cozy, so, and, and the chairs were right next to each other. It just seemed like it was just manufactured. It just did not seem natural. Uh, I mean, there just really isn't a standout about this hotel. The only standout is the location. And when you take a look at the other hotels in the area, I mean, I haven't stayed at any of those hotels, but I walked by them last night. You have SLS, you have Lowe's, you have Shelbourne. You have a ton of great hotels. I don't know why you would choose this property. I just don't. I mean, maybe if you're a Marriott person and you just want to be in this exact locale, you would choose it. But for me, it just doesn't stand out. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Marriott Stanton Beach. It's not worth it. Um, I, don't, I, I never thought I'd be saying this, but the hotel up in North Beach, Bell Harbor, is way better way better. I would stay there in terms of a property. I would stay at the Bell Harbor every single time. Now, you're seven miles away, but the hotel is just extremely, extremely exceptional and it dwarfs this hotel in every single facet. The Bell Harbor Ridge Carlton is the place to be if indeed you're staying on property and want the most out of your property. That is the place. In fact, it is a little more expensive than this property and rightfully so. All right, so that is it. Ritz Carlton South Beach, a surprise pass rating. It is what it is. I'm on to the next.